Hey everybody, this is Adele from Chalk to Crafts and I'm going to be doing um, some demolition apparently. No, that was my blow dryer that just hit the dust, bit the dust probably. So I'm gonna be doing the sugar cookie transfer and um, it's on a really large board. So it's um, a massive board, let me show you. Whoa, it's a big one. So, hey, Tarina. Um, I actually watched your video just because this is such a huge, huge transfer. And actually, they now cut it up into two pieces for us. So it makes it a little bit easier. And I'm gonna do something, maybe I need to ask you, Tarina, because the, I wanna use ink on this board. Would that be okay? Or is that a no-no? I think I can do it. It just probably won't be as reusable, but I'm gonna try it because I love the way the ink just pops. Hey, Christy Lynn, just pops off of uh, surfaces. So that's kind of what I think I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna do it in two sections, you know, just like it is here. So uh, what do you think, Tarina? Can I use ink on this board? I've waxed it well. So, um, I'm looking for some feedback. But I'm gonna just uh, reposition the board a little bit. I'm gonna take away one of the transfers. Hey, Laura. Put it over there so it's out of the way and I'm gonna flip the board around. So it'll be upside down for you, but that way it's easier for me to work on. Upside down. <clears throat> so, hey, Kristen, how you doing? I love the sugar cookies transfer and it's on a big board and I'm gonna go ahead and um, do it with ink so oh yeah I was gonna try to get this ready sorry I thought I had it ready and I obviously didn't and let me try. I'm gonna be doing there we go mute myself all right so first I need to destickify this transfer and uh, I learned that term from Miss Tarina. And basically that means I wanna pull some of the sticky off of this because it's super, super sticky. Um, I don't have a heat gun, but I do have a blow dryer that gets really hot. Um, so I need to pull it off. This is a big transfer and sometimes big transfers can be difficult to manage. So I'm a little more nervous than normal. Uh, and I'm, so this is the first time I've shot here. I'm actually uh, hoping to get my studio opened soon as soon as the weather cools down. We want to, boy, there we go, I should have. All right, <clears throat> so I learned from Tarina. Let me see, she laid it down and then put the transfer. Maybe I should do that. I watched her video today on how she dealt with this transfer, and I'm not doing it right now. <laughs> Ooh, that's good, okay. I didn't learn very well, Tarina. All right, so what I saw her do was lay the transfer on the board, sticky side up, and well, I really want the ink to pop, so that's why I decided to go with the ink. Or I wanted the, <clears throat> the face, I wanted the words and everything on here to pop really well. So that's why I decided to go for um, ink instead of paste. The colors are just so vibrant. And I'm just going to destickify here. Trina hopped on and left, I think. So that's all right. See, I think it's pretty sticky still. Yeah, I'm gonna do it a couple more times because I don't want it to pull anything off this board and I don't want the board to ruin my transfer. I have waxed it, so I have a little story about that. Oh gosh. Um, when I uh, started to wax this transfer today, <laughs> I waxed it and it looked horrible. 
And what I found was the way to get that horrible off when it gets too thick or it looks cloudy was to use one of our magic, well, it's not a magic eraser, but it's, it's similar to a magic eraser that the company sells now. It's a little circle thing. And that seemed to work really well. I'm going to use the uh, silver for the KitchenAid bowl. And I think that's what Christy's asking about. And I might use some for the, yeah, this is gonna have to be really destickified because it is super sticky. So we're gonna destickify it a couple more times. So that it doesn't pull up the board. I've already got a little fold here, but I'm not worried about it. Well, yes, I should be. There's a little bit on the sugar there. I'll fix that here in a minute. Yeah, so basically this board was kind of ruined um, earlier today when I waxed it. It looked fine before I waxed it. Then I waxed it and it just made the board look really super cloudy. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. So I, uh, that magic eraser just saved my life. I was very stressed out about it. I just had it fold over on itself, which with the big transfers, pretty easy to do. And Brenda does such great videos. Brenda's on here, Brenda Renier. And uh, let's see if we can get the rest of it out. Sorry about that. I, th I think it's fine once I pull it off. It's it's coming right off, Brenda. It's pulling right away. I don't want to get it wet because then I have to wait for it to dry. Yeah, it came off pretty easily. So we're just going to destickify it a little bit more. And I'll pay attention to those ends where I fold it over. And I don't plan on really reusing this board but I was just curious to see how inks would work with it. So here we go. And I'm gonna do this upside down because otherwise you won't be able to see it at all. And I won't be able to reach it because I'm short. And I just wanna see a little bit here on how that would look. Still struggling with color choices. I know I want the, um, mixer to be the uh, either Tide Teal or the, um, I think right here's where I want it. Either going to do the mixer Tide Teal or this uh, Couture Teal. I might do the words, the dark, or my, might rotate it. What do you guys think? The dark Tide on the top or the dark Tide on the mixer? That's what I need help deciding for right now. <laughs> Put you to work here. Okay, now I need to just make sure I get this placed right where I want it. I'll tell you, it's been very hot in Arizona. I'm just gonna lightly put it on there. Let's see. There we go. And so what I'm looking for is these are silk screen transfers, and this is the silk screen here. And if I get an air bubble in that, it will actually turn into a blob. So I don't want the um, I don't want the blob. I want these to be smooth, crisp words, and I want the mixer to be the mixer is the biggest risk because it's the largest silk screen on here. So I'm gonna get out my this is an angled squeegee here. And this is great for getting the bubbles out, and that's what we want to do here. You can hear it popping when you hit a bubble. So, um, just want to get all the air out. And I'm really not concerned about the green part of this transfer, just the silk screen. We have so many new wonderful inks and I'm fairly new to inks but um, look at these colors I mean look at this one it's gorgeous I love this one and the tide I just love tide and then even this couture teal is gorgeous 
And then the candy apple I'm going to use possibly for the, the numbers and the hearts down there. So I really, I really love it. So, and then uh, this um, shimmer silver I will use for the bowl. I'll use the lighter couture teal here. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Not really sure what I'm gonna do with the eggs yet. I might go with a, uh, just a light cream, or I may do I may do the cream here, and then the yellow for the butter over here. I just haven't worked that part out yet. Yeah, Tide is, is my favorite ink color for sure. It's so rich. I think I'm just gonna the good news about inks is that you don't have to rush like you do with paste. Well, not that you have to rush with paste. There's a little lump or something right there. A little fleck of... So I use Norwex cloths with my waxing, but somehow I think that was from the paper towel I had on before. I use the Norwex because I want it to be lint free when I'm waxing. I don't want any of that lint to stick around under the silk screen. So, I don't know where to start. <laughs> ah, let's see, it's a little intimidating this board. Um, I guess I'll start with the big thing first. I'm gonna start with the words up here and then we'll figure out what else we're gonna do? I don't know if you can hear my music, but I tend to love music, so it's it's on in the background there. And no, I don't have the rights or anything for the music, but whatever. <laughs> Facebook police, go away. I'm a little bit of a rule breaker sometimes. All right, let's just do. We're gonna do sugar cookies first, and actually, I probably shouldn't because I'll, it'll be. Dang it! I need to look at Brenda's. I'm trying to figure out what color to do these words. Oh yeah, these words here. I think I need to do all of the numbers in one color and all of the words in a different color. I haven't thought this out enough, you can tell. <laughs> um, yeah, what, should I use the same color for all the words and then just a different color for the numbers? I think that's what I should do and I probably need to, probably need to start a pie and not start with the tie teal. So, and I want to do white for the arrows. Or should I do white for the words? Yes to which one? Brenda, yes to which? <laughs> I think I'll do white for the words and red for the numbers and that should pop. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. White for the words. And I'm going to start off the screen and pull towards me. And this is going to be a long video just because I'm slow. Sorry. And I probably don't have to be this slow on the, the ink because, oh, I just went into the words. Dang it. <laughs> I just went into the number and I would trying to not do that. Ah, what do I do? Okay. <laughs> yes, I do talk to myself when I'm chalking for sure. I'm gonna have to get that uh, three and redo it. Cause I mucked it up. Alrighty. I get, hey Sherry, how you doing? Yeah. Uh oh. Let's see. Okay. There we go. All right. Go 
I'm just going to go ahead and do all the words real quick. Oh gosh, you're throwing in a little um, wild thing in there, Christy. The multi-purpose tool, I don't know if I could do that. Maybe next time. There we go. So I just came back a week or so, I don't even know when it was, from Texas, I'd been gone to visit with my nephew and his family, and also to help one of my team members, Jody. And um, it was so much fun. I had such a good time. I hope it was, it was warm, but not too hot. And then all of a sudden, the humidity came in and it was miserable. I'm just going to use the tiny one to scrape that off. There we go. Huh. Yeah, I haven't used it for that yet, so I need to, I think I need to practice that before I do it on camera. Although everything's kind of, I'm kind of playing by the seat of my pants right now, so I probably could get away with it. Christy. <laughs> Christy's kind of my partner in crime. We operate a little bit the same way sometimes. We sat by each other at convention and it was a blast. While we were actually trying to craft three things very quickly, it was fun. Okay, I'm just gonna go across here. I know I'm probably breaking all kinds of rules here. Let's see. I'm loving Chalk Couture. I'm very excited about the opportunity it offers. And I actually enjoy it. It's therapeutic for me. I feel really relaxed when I'm working, even though everything's kind of falling apart in front of me. <laughs> uh, it is pretty fun. Okay. I would say, uh, I gotta avoid this one here. Hoo ha! I like to watch other designers' videos and learn from them. And uh, we have some really good designers on our team, which is why I love our team so much. Everybody's very willing to share and help, and you just don't get that in a lot of different teams, um, you just don't get that. Whether it's in Chalk Couture or not in Chalk Couture, you just don't always get that camaraderie that we have in our team. At least that's the way I feel. Ugh. This is a difficult transfer, I can tell to do, but I was just like, eh, I'm just gonna go for it. Worst thing that could happen is I could just start over, right? Yes, I, I watch their videos all the time, Christy. I'm with you. Okay. Slowly working my way through this transfer with these different colors. I know you're supposed to go one way, but sometimes I just can't do it. If I was on a canvas, I would feel more worried about it. But since I'm not on canvas, I'm feeling like I have a little more leeway. A little more forgiving. You know what I mean? So here we go, let's see, yeah, that looks pretty good, clean that one up a little bit, okay, 
I think that's what I want to do. And my numbers. Should I do red numbers? What do you think, Christy Lynn? I think I'm going to do red. And um, our inks are different than the paste. You do not have to stir them. So it makes it a little bit uh, quicker process. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that's gorgeous. It does look like candies. All right, so I'm gonna do the numbers now. And actually, let's start here. Yeah, I didn't get my plan very well together. I was too undecided when I started. But hopefully, it will all come together. So once summer's over, I will be out in my studio instead of right here in the kitchen, which will be a lot nicer, I think. There we go. And I've had this transfer actually since I enrolled and I wanted to do it for the longest time. And today I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it. I've been kind of running since I got home. I've had a lot going on. Last night I went to my nephew's um, 10th birthday party. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I really enjoyed it. He's a smart kid. He's probably going to be a structural engineer or whatever he wants to be, of course. Um, someday he's just super smart and he wants to know how everything's put together and I just don't have that brain <laughs> I could care less how it's put together as long as it works you know what I mean I'm just totally not like my brain does not work that way I'm glad things are put together correctly but I don't I don't feel the need to know how it's put together you know He's just really a smart boy. His name's Cameron. And he's just a smart kid. He got this great big dinosaur last night. It's like a dinosaur robot thing. And this just tells you how much our generations are different. The first one of the first things he asked was, "Does it have Wi-Fi?" <laughs> and I'm just like, "Oh my gosh, seriously?" When I was a kid, of course we didn't have Wi-Fi, but um it's just amazing how things have changed in, in the world and everything's just so different. Okay, I'm gonna scrape this off. And he's actually my great nephew. He's my niece's, dang it. My niece's um, son. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the and this color. I really enjoy listening to music while I do this. It's just so soothing for me. I have a sister who can't stand to have music on. Well, she's gotten used to it because her husband loves music, but oh dang it, I'm just a messy crafter. I'm going to have to fix that too. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm a messy crafter. Here we go. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do some yellow on the butter. I want to see if I can um, possibly wipe that red off right there. Go over it. Yeah, that'll be fine. 
Sometimes you just have to patch it up. Oh boy, now I'm making a more of a mess. <laughs> Yes, I lived on my bike when I was a kid too, Christy Lynn. Actually, it was so much fun in my town because we were so safe. Um, I come from a very small town in Arizona. And uh, those were some fun times. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we'll leave that on there for a minute. Okay. Next, I'm going to do some yellow butter. How, how's it going up there in uh, Washington, Laura? You guys, it should be nice and sunny because it's August. Usually it starts, stops raining in July-ish up there, from what I remember of my time in Seattle area. Okay, I'm going to set this aside so I don't... Maybe I should have been sitting for most of this. I don't know if that would have worked any better. These are very close together. So it does make it a little more difficult. But I've only had a few oopsies so far, which is a miracle. Here we go. I miss those days of bike riding and catching frogs and you know that kind of stuff. Playing basketball outside with my brothers. It's one of my favorite memories as a kid. I was born between my brothers so I had to learn to compete. If I wanted to play ball and um, I had to up my skills and so they, they really, my brothers really are responsible for the success I had as an athlete probably. A little bit. Don't let it go to your head bros. Um, come on. Just trying to get the lines out of that. Okay, butter is done. Hot with the haze from the wildfires. Dang it. Yes, those darn wildfires. They're ruining everything, aren't they? Okay, yellow I can put away because I'm not sure I'm put using it again. So, let's see. I think I want to do that SP in white. Even though, yeah. I think this is the biggest transfer I've done live. I usually do them by myself so that when I muck it up on a big transfer, nobody sees it. <laughs> But, you know, I'm also a very real person and, you know, we all make mistakes in life and I am not a crafter really, so at least I don't consider myself a crafter, a very good crafter, so there's going to be some mistakes in my work. <laughs> all right, I'm going to do these silver. Where's my silver? I had it put out, I thought. Oh, there it is, right there in front of me. Okay. This 
stuff is gorgeous. I love the way it looks. I think I'm getting too much on my squeegee, maybe. I was actually watching the um, thing about Justin Timberlake the other day and I was like, gosh, I missed half of his music. Some of it I know and some of it I'm like, never heard it. I don't know what happened to me. I think I quit listening to Top 40 is what happened. I was listening to more, uh, I don't know what the word is even. Probably more indie kind of stuff. That's what I was listening to, I think, around the time when he became popular. Indie funk, indie pop, indie, maybe indie pop kind of. Okay, I'm getting too close to this. So I'm gonna get out the tool Christy recommended. Let's see if I can clean that up. Oh, a little bit. Now I see what you're talking about, Christy. I'm not sure how that's gonna look. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, the yeah, the the outdoor one, yeah. That one was uh, a lot of fun. I ended up doing that late, late at night by myself finishing it up because I was leaving the next day and I wanted him to keep it. So, um, I uh, did that. I was up till one in the morning doing that the day before I left and then I had to drive. So I ended up turning it into a two day trip instead of a one day trip. But it was a, it's a 16 hour drive if you try to do it in one day. So it's probably safer any way to turn it into a two day trip. Okay, Christy Lynn, what do you think about um, the polka dots here? Should I do them in red or white, or should I pick a new color? What do you think? Possibly having to wipe my hands on this ink because it's very uh, sticks to you. Okay, well, I'm waiting for that answer. I'll go to I'll put that over here. I'm gonna go to the eggs, get the eggs done. So I'm worried about the polka dots. They're throughout the, they're throughout the thing. Oh, tan. Well, that was what I was gonna do with the eggs, so that might work. Uh, the only, yeah. I like the tan idea. Well, this is a uh, fawn. I, I think that's the only one that's really off white. Unless I did a gray without without the uh, sparkles in it, I could do that. See if it'll come off. So there we go. Looks like frosting, <laughs> which is appropriate because that's what we're doing. We're frosting right now. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do the one because I was nervous about it. I think I'll do it right now with this. Let me use your little tool, Christy. Not even sure if I'm using it right. I probably could use the other end for this, actually. I just need to scrape it up. Scrape it off.
Yeah, so that transfer, I found out um, after the fact. I was looking through our catalog and found some other trees I could have probably used in it, but you know, it worked. He's happy with it. I'm happy with it. So there you go. All right, so we're going to do some fawn on the dots and on the egg. I think I'll still use this tool. Am I supposed to hold it like this? I don't even know. All right, Christy Lynn, am I using this end, the end on the right, or the end on the left? Because I think if I did it like this, it would be hard to control. This seems like it's easier. So that's what I'm going to do. That seemed to go on. Yeah, I don't know. Not the day to experiment, probably, with it. Maybe I should try that off camera. Straight end, yeah. I'm gonna do this here. go in and pick some of these imperfections after I'm finished with a little paintbrush and fix some of these mistakes or these things that are happening here. Boy, those are tiny little dots. Wow. I wonder if they redid this transfer, because I know it was out earlier, before, because it used to come in one piece, from what I've heard. And I wonder if they changed the transfer a little bit, because it seems like, wow, there's a whole lot of detail in this one that I don't didn't remember seeing when I decided to do it. <laughs> Alrighty, you can go for the eggs now. And I know some people actually use a paintbrush instead of a squeegee when they're in the really fine detail stuff, which maybe I should have done actually. I second guess myself a lot. I like the way the fawn is looking on those eggs. I think it's gonna look perfect. Okay. And the ink is so silky smooth. That that's the best way I can describe it. And it's not that the paste isn't smooth, it's just that it's such a different feel when you're using it. So, it's just interesting to me that it's such a different feel comparatively to the paste. Of course the one ends up here, but did I end it there? No, I kept going with the red just to make my job a little more difficult here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that blue. It doesn't look right. I don't have blue. That was interesting. 
have no idea where that blue came from. Hmm, weird. Okay, now I'm ready to finish this thing. Here's this section. So I'm gonna do the mixer, and then I'll do the bowl, and then I'll do the sugar cookies writing. Let me wash my hands real good here. I hope this looks alright. I think it will. I think the butter might pop a little more than I thought it would, but hey, what are you going to do? Okay. Next, we're going to use the Couture Teal. I love this color. Actually, I'm going to cover that up just because I don't want to drop something and splatter paint everywhere. Paste, ink, whatever it is. This stuff. I kind of wish they'd get rid of those tabs that are on the side of them. I don't like the sticky stuff that comes off of them. Being picky here. Okay. Here we go with the couture teal on the bottom of the mixer. My mother had a KitchenAid mixer in our house. It was a plain old white one. And um, when it broke, I asked her if I could have it. The cord was bad, and she had already fixed the cord. But she had already decided to buy another mixer or something. I don't remember the whole story. So I got her old mixer. And uh, that thing has many childhood memories for me. And... Uh, making brownies on Sunday or cookies on Sunday. Did a lot of cooking on sun baking on Sunday I should say. I hope I'm doing this right. What are you guys thinking? Michael Bublé is singing right now, just in case the Facebook police want to know. to a friend's house a little later today. She's uh, going stir crazy. She had the procedure done and was kind of stuck at home for a while. So I'm gonna go hang out with her. Maybe play a few games or something. I don't even know what kind of game she likes to play, but I'm gonna take a couple of card games over there and maybe watch some Watch a movie or something. Who knows? I think I make, may make this whole thing right here. Silver. All the way down. What do you think? I hope I wasn't blocking you the whole time. I was kind of leaning into it there. Hey, D. I'm tackling a very challenging transfer because it's so big. I'm using ink. Even though it's on wood, I'm using ink. I asked several people and they didn't know how, what that meant, what it would mean if I used ink on wood and would it come off later since I have a wax board. 
So I just thought, you know what? Not that I would change it anyway. I'm just gonna go for it. And I don't think I'll change it anyway. Okay. Big plans, D, big plans. We got big plans coming up. Okay, let's see. Now I'm gonna get the little... I think this part's supposed to be blue. And then the rest of the bowl can be silver. So this is the thing that holds the bowl. I don't know what you would call that, the bracket. Yeah, but if you wanted to wipe it off like we do our paste, D, would it wipe off with water? That's the question. That is the question. No one seemed to have an answer for me, and I don't care. Whatever. Okay. I need to fix some of these. I'll just do it with the big squeegee. Okay. Ah, probably shouldn't go over there with the big one. Okay. No, that's what I mean. After it dries, will it will it wipe off? That is the question of the day. I don't think it will. But if I don't heat set it, in theory, it should be able to wipe off. That's my thought. Okay, I'm done with this part. Yep, that's the question of the day. What will happen? Let's try. Okay, next we're gonna do some silver. a little tight. Well, yeah. I'll let you do it on a smaller piece. I'm not going to test it on this one. This one's too big. That's what my sister said. She goes, we'll test it. And I'm like, I'm going live. I don't have patience to wait for a test. Okay. We'll do a test when you get home, D. Maybe later tonight I'll do one, but I think it won't. I think it will wash off fine. I'm not left-handed. Why am I doing this left-handed? Because I 
I can't see. That's why. Okay. Yes, I know. I knew what you meant, a scrap. Yeah, I knew that. I was with you, D, sort of. So close to the line right there. Woo! Yeah, we got a big to-do list. You need to get home. You need to get home. We got lots to do. No more eating bonbons, D. With your feet up. With my favorite dog. How is Twerp? I love that name. <laughs> Poor Twerp. Makes him stronger, right? Okay. Tight work there. Okay, now we're gonna do the big stuff. This should go faster. Start outside the screen and pull towards you is what I'm told. You really want to make sure the ink gets in there. And I think that's more so on canvas. I think on wood I'm going to be okay. It's pretty smooth. I'm not going to have to work it into any grooves of, you know, canvas or cotton if you were doing a shirt or something, or a hat. I see so many things that people do that are so awesome. I just haven't had time lately to do much chalking. So, as soon as it cools off, I am in my studio. I'm gonna have so much fun there this winter. I'm so excited. and I are going to have classes in there and we're going to craft together in there hopefully she'll come over and we're just going to have a good time we're just going to have fun you should post a picture on this of, of twerp so that everybody can see who your dog is and why I like him so much what we call bulldozing, scraping off the excess. Or what I call bulldozing, I don't know if anybody else calls it that. It's what I call bulldozing. And uh, this jar of paste will last quite a, or ink will last quite a long time because as you see we scrape the leftovers back in to be used at another on another transfer so it's very efficient in that way all right anybody see anything I need to fix before I pull this I'm ready to pull it cleaning here real quick and then I will pull it yes do you have no idea how excited I am for this winter so thrilled it's gonna be a blast
Oops, one more good. I'm gonna have to have my own desk though when we do this D because I am messy. Okay, Let's see if we can get this thing to pull up. I hope it does without pulling up the chalk board. Uh oh, what happened? Did I wait that long? Uh oh, we have problems, Houston. Huh, well, I maybe get to redo this board after all. I can't imagine what I did wrong there. Oh. <laughs> it's pulling off very hard. Maybe just redo those words, I guess. This is what I'm talking about right here. I don't know what happened. Oh, all the white has little funny, what the heck? Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's okay, I can fix it. Huh, I can't figure that out. I'm transferring some water here. Weird, it's not wiping off the transfer either. Huh, I'm gonna have to call the company. That's very odd. So the um Hey um Christy, look at that. Have you ever seen that happen before? It's weird. It only happened on the white. And it actually happened on all the white uh, to some degree. Huh. Let me show you what the transfer looked like. No, 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 it's not that. Let me show you. Let me pull, let me uh, move the board so it doesn't get wet in the room even more. But I love the way that those colors pop off there. Let me move this real quick. Maybe you guys can help me figure out what I did wrong or if it's a bad transfer. It may be the transfer. Let me wash this real quick and then I'll show you what I'm seeing. Give me a second. I guess this is going to be a shorter video than I thought. <laughs> oh, that is bizarro. I have no idea. Weird. Okay, I'll be right over there. Sorry, don't leave me. I want to show you what it looks like. Check it out, it's all splotchy. I've never seen that. And it's not washing off the transfer at all. Let me. Let me get some. I hate to use Clorox wipes. Uh, what do you think? Christy, is this a bad transfer or is it just I did something wrong? Because the other, everything else just came right off. But the white is all like modeled. I don't know if you guys know. That's weird. Look at that. I wish Brenda was still on here so I could ask her what that is. 
That is bizarre. Well, I guess I'm going to stop this video and um, try to clean this off and save this transfer. Everything else washed out fine. You can see, you can see through everything else, right? Through every other silk screen you can see through. But that one is blotchy. And I don't know what the heck. Will my magic eraser work? Probably. So I'll get back with you guys and let you know what worked unless you want to watch me try to fix it. I just don't know what the heck it is. Let me, let me, let me see if I can find the clock right here. Uh, let's see. I just have... Sorry about that. I didn't expect to even need a Clorox wipe because I switch the way I do things. I don't like to use Clorox wipes. I mostly just use Norwex cloths to clean my stuff because there's no lint. All right, let's see what happens. I should take a picture of this, but my phone's right there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's not coming off. Now see other the other residual stuff that was kind of left on there. See the red tint is coming off like normal. But the white. Huh. That is freaky weird. Let me try a magic eraser. Oh, there's my watch. Let's but this one's right here. Yeah, it's just... Huh, I don't know. Uh, well, we will figure it out and let you know. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Um, sorry for this. I don't even know what it is. But it only happened with the white. So... Um, it makes me think that there's something wrong with the white paste. So I will let you know what happens. This is very bizarre. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me and for helping, <laughs> helping me. Hey everybody, if you like this video, please click on the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon. And don't forget to visit my website. Thank you.